Hello, this video is going to show you how to use the latitude and longitude grid lines on Google Earth to help you find the exact location of an area. Now, one way of using latitude and longitude on Google Earth is using the numbers down here at the bottom right. This one here is 8.4 zeros or whatever south. That's south latitude. And this one here would be the longitude, 115, 115.600579 east. So where my cursor last left the screen was that exact point. And that can actually work. I tend to use this one a lot when I move my cursor around. Those numbers change, and I can figure out exactly where something is. But if you want to put the actual lines on the Earth, all you have to do is click the little three lines over here. That opens up the settings panel. And you want to click on Map Style. And I have mine on Clean Map. If you want to add labels, you click one of these two. That would add labels. But I'm going to scroll down, and I'm going to turn on the grid lines. So we'll do that. I notice the grid lines turn on. I'm going to scroll back up and close map style. So now I have my grid lines turned on. Now, notice as I move the globe, the grid lines stay where they are because the equator is in this location. This is 10 degrees north and 20 degrees north. This is a tropic of Cancer, which is 23 and a half degrees north. This is 10 south, that's what the S is for, 20 degrees south, and this is a Tropic of Capricorn. These are the latitude lines. The longitude lines, this one here is 60 degrees east, 70 degrees east, 80 degrees east. If I move west, then it's 50, 40, all the way over here. This is the prime meridian, this is zero. So the point on Earth that is zero, zero is right there. And then I'm heading west so this is 10 west, 20 west, 30 west, 40 west, and so on. So if I wanted to find the exact location of a place, the one thing that Google Earth does is that it manages these lines as I get closer to a location. So if I want to find the exact location of my school, as I scroll in and zoom in to the location of the school, notice how the lines change. So I'll keep it right here. A little bit hard to read, but this is 33.1 north, 33.2 north, 33.3 north. This added the decimal because I got closer and closer to this location. And this one right here is 97.8 west, 97.7 west, 97.6 west. Again, it added the decimal to the tenth spot. So as I zoom in closer and closer to where the school is located, then you notice now it adds the hundredth part. So now I've got 32.95 and 32.91, I think that says, and 32.85. That's right. So it adds the hundredth spot. And so as I get even closer and closer, then it's going to add more and more of the decimals. So I'm going to move in closer here. And as I go towards the school, there she is right there. So I get to the school. And the school is at exactly, well, just north of 32.978 north. And where's my longitude line? There we go. It would be about 97.275 west. That would be the location of the school. So that's how you use the actual grid lines on Google Earth. Of course, if I back out, then they get farther apart because I'm getting less and less accurate. And I can use them this way. So very handy. Good luck.